In front of the camera, you know him from Silver Spoons and NYPD Blue. Ricky Schroeder's newest role is quite different. He went behind the scenes for the documentary series, The Fighting Season. Ricky's here to tell us why he took on this project. Good morning. It's nice to see you. Thank you, Mary. Glad to be here. You traveled to Afghanistan to film this, embedded with our troops. What was the experience like? It was a life-changing experience. It was ultimately a, a wonderful experience. I learned so much about, uh, you know, the, the science of war, the, the art of war, of, of how it's fought, how it's planned, how it's executed. We were there, my crew and I, for 110 days mm. from March to July of 2014, over an historic time when they were having a presidential election. And we embedded with Army units doing varied and different missions. And we got a big, epic picture of what mm -hmm. ending this hard, complicated war looks like. I know you put in a tremendous amount of time researching and kind of planning, preparing best you could, but were there still some surprises once you got there and you were embedded? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, just, just the complexities that, uh, that, it, that it involves working with the Afghan army and the Afghan police, because all operations, because we're trying to hand the war off to them, are kind of mm -hmm. combined with them. And so trying to coordinate things with our Afghan partners through interpreters was an immense challenge. I also learned that, you know, our army's strong. Like, there's a perception out there that they're, they're beaten up and exhausted. Well, I saw motivated, professional soldiers, young people, who, you know, would go anywhere you ask them to go. You know, march towards the bullets and they will do it. And so, um, you know, I saw a lot, of, a lot of things. The rules of engagement was another issue. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we were allowed into the, the drone process of how they, they do uh, drones, use drones um, in, in the war, and, you know, how cautious they were in trying to eliminate the targets and stuff without hurting civilians, because they've learned that if you hurt civilians, you're defeating your purpose. Mm -hmm. Everything you're saying, I can't help but wonder how the experience affected your sense of patriotism. Well, I've, I've always, you know, been, been an admirer of, of America's values and ideals and opportunities that we have in this, in this, in this country, but more so now. Mm -hmm. When I came back from Afghanistan after being there, I literally almost got down and kissed the dirty floor of the airport because I realized that, you know, we live in a place where there's the expectation of peace, where our kids can go to school and we can, we can live our lives in peace. But I was in a place just then where, you know, any violence can happen to anyone, anywhere, anytime, and that's the normal. Mm -hmm. What inspired you initially with this project? You know, war has been such a big part of history, not just American history, but history. Uh, and so I wanted to personally experience, you know, w what, what it felt like and what it was like. You know, I think my interest peaked when I'm, I was a, son, a grandchild sitting at the foot of my grandfather and he would tell me about mm -hmm. his experiences as a captain in the U.S. Army in World War II. And so I, I think it was a personal um, thing I wanted to experience and then it was also, I think, important to document how we left Afghanistan. So no matter what happens there, we know how we left it. The fighting season on DirecTV, on iTunes as well. Um, Ricky, we have to run, but I wish we could spend more time. I've enjoyed the talk. Um, we'll keep an eye out, okay? Thank you, Mary. Have a good day. Thank you.